Bobby Durkins here. Want to tell all y'all about a little story about some stuff that happened to me today. Started off earlier this morning. When I got up and I saw my beautiful, precious peach, my wife, Bonnie Durkins, getting ready like a mad woman. I looked at her and I was like, Hey, I didn't know you were going anywhere today. What you doing? She looked at me with this wild-eyed look and said, my mom and I, and my sister might even join us, we need some time away. Let me interpret that for all of you who aren't married. You and the boys are driving me so crazy that if I don't get away and have some me time, I'm going to end up flipping my mind and going out there and dancing on a pole out there in Las Vegas. So I said nothing because I also know that if I were to object, She'd knock every tooth down my throat and give my butthole a full set of teeth. So I moved on from the subject, told her bye, and decided today would be a day that I would hang out with my boys, my beloved Bobby Durkins Jr. and Bobby Durkins Jr. Jr. I let them sleep in. Hey, Jr. Hey! Hey! That's my cousin. But they woke up. Before we went out, I had to give them boys a bath. God, they stink. Because we all know that once a child turns one up until that time they're 12, they smell like mold. And if you sit there and say, well, my child doesn't smell like mold, I'll have you to know we live in the Ritzfield. You're lying to yourself, you punk. All children smell like mold. And then after they turn 13, then they begin to smell like weird, unmentionable body parts. We'll move on from this subject. So... I got him out. We we're riding in the truck and looked at me and said, Hey, Daddy. Hey, Daddy. Can we go by the tractor supply store and get some more ducks since I got weaseled? The story there is, about four months ago, I bought some chickens and some ducks. Babies, of course. We put the chicks up in a coop, and they're perfectly fine. But the ducks, we let them roam around the property because I have a, I don't want to brag, but I have a decent little uh, property line here. Well, one day, Bobby Durkins Jr. comes up to me crying. I stopped and I looked at him and I said, Bobby Durkins, I will let you know right now we do not cry in this family unless it's death or unless you've been kicked in the crotch. At that point, he pulled out from behind his back a headless duckling. Apparently, while they were out there roaming my sprawling fields, a wild weasel got a hold of him and took her head off. I mean, I don't get the thought process of a weasel because if I was going to eat a duck, I want that good meat. Lord, last thing I want is a, deal in a, uh, a bill and a bunch of ice floating around in my mouth. But that's a weasel for you. So I said, yes, boys, we'll try to take better care of these ducklings. Hopefully, the message of us being poor duckling owners won't get around in the duck community. Well, I could tell the boys were hungry. And before we were going to stop by there and get a bunch of ducks and probably build a little fence for them, said, let's go by and eat some Christian chicken at Chick-fil-A. I feel comfortable going there and eating there because we all know that before they kill a chicken, they ask it if it has a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And if it box yes, they chop its head off. And if it seems like it's off the straight and narrow path, they keep it alive a little longer and evangelize to it. So I take them in there, we get our order, we sit down. The boys are facing me, I'm facing them, talking about good times, about the old time that Uncle, Uncle Junior lost his toenail uh, in a sliding door. We're all laughing and such. And then this is when the chaos ensues. A young family comes and sits down behind my boys, facing me. They were at a table. We were in a booth. It was a young pregnant mother, her husband, and a little boy. We'll get back to that little prick in just a second well when they sat down I could tell she was obviously pregnant and she was they wasn't poor either I could tell by clothes they were wearing but she was wearing something she shouldn't be wearing I mean all I'm gonna say is she was about seven months pregnant and it was showing things here I am with my eyes dedicated to Jesus and my and Bonnie Durkins but it was they were it was it was just distracting and all of a sudden her husband looks at me and says, Hey, did you get a good look? He's one of these little slick back hair pricks. I don't like them anyway. Look at me, I said, What? I 
I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here on my boys. He said, you're checking out my wife, and on top of that, she's pregnant. Well, I looked at him, and I said, I'm going to let you know right now, since she's picking at me, slapping on one cheek, I just turned this one. But you slapped the other one, I'm, I'm going to knock the living jail out of your hair. Well, then he answers to say that I am making eyes and making gestures towards his wife. Though I will admit I did make his gesture. And I told him, I said, if you saw my face grimace like this, yeah, I made a gesture because your unborn baby basically waved at me. Then he stands up and says, how dare you know what my unborn baby looks like before me? And then the little prick, he, and, he turns around and looks at me and he cusses at me. He cusses at me. He said the F word. And I looked at him and I said, you ought to do something to him. He said, I think he's right. And I looked at him and I said, if you don't whip him, I will. Then he says, starts screaming out loud, I'm trying to beat his youngin' up. And then on top of that, the little boy was wearing a shirt that said, I'm a little Christian. And then I told him I need to rip that, that, that t-shirt off of his little body because he's a false witness. And then I really got mad. Needless to say, we were both escorted by the finest police in Wilmo City. End of the day, I just want you to know that Bobby Durkins, no matter who you are, where you are, creed, race, classification, or whatever those other big words are, if you're pregnant, just wear something and ain't going, you know, let me see the baby before the daddy does. It's Bobby Durkins saying, yeah, that's it, Bobby Durkins.